Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, March 26, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to follow us here on Ether where you can follow our trades and also copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the SP 500, and as you can see, we did pierce down 50 mm week average all the way down here at 3854 and uh, then we settled above the the 20 exponential mm week average uh, give it a uh, give or take at uh, 3917 so technical indicators they are well cci is turning around otherwise the macd see and the stochastic and the rsi are bearish at this point so if we manage to take out these previous highs here at 3,945, then we could head towards a 4,000. Break below the 50 moving average, that could open the door to 3,796 um, or even lower than that. But at this current stage, well, we're basically all over the place. We're right in the middle and, uh, well, this pullback basically indicating that we are going to go higher however these technical indicators are indicating that we are most likely going to go lower so it will time will tell tomorrow will be what basically will happen when the u.s um u.s session opens uh, usually that is when the uh, most of the action occurs and that's where the trend will be defined at the opening of the u.s market tomorrow so let's look at the dow jones very similar here in Dow Jones, we basically fell toward the lower part of the or the middle of the bullish band at the 32,000 and then we rallied and now we're trading at the 32,667. It looks like we are basically turning around here and heading towards the all time highs at the 33,000 or probably at 33,500, which most likely will be at the target at this current stage. Technical indicators like the CCI are turning around, the RSI is flat, the MACD is bearish and the, the, the stochastic is bearish and the MACD is also bearish at this point. If we break below the 20 exponential, that could open the door to the 50 moving average here at 31,578 and the bottom of the bullish band at 31,000. But at this current stage, it looks like uh, 33,500 is going to be the target. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ has basically been all over the place the last few weeks. We had tried to, uh, it has tried to break through the 50 moving average, has been rejected numerous times. And then basically today we broke down all the way down towards 12,600 before rallying up towards the middle of the Bunge band, but we did not break about that. So at this current stage, we are seeing that the CCI is slowly turning around while the other indicators are bearish so if we take a, if we basically break below uh, 12615 that could open the door to the bottom of the bullish band here at roughly 12400 break below that opens the door to 12000 and significantly lower levels if we so we have the last time we broke through uh, 12000 was way back here this was basically in the beginning of, uh, of April last year. And we have been rallying above this long-term um, trend line for last year. So at the moment, it is looking fairly weak. If we manage to break about the 50 moving average, then we could talk about going to 14,000 and 15,000. But at this current stage, we are basically looks like we're making a lower high so here here and that could mean that we'll also make a lower low which means that we could go all the way down to um, 12,000 here or lower than that before going back up so time will tell it does not look very promising for the nasdaq but um, this pullback could give an indication that there is still some uh, life in this uh, in the sea and that we most likely go higher there's no reason to to basically short this. It's a probably the best way in the world to lose money is basically shorting the uh, this indice because as you can see, we have these massive uptrends and it's only occasionally that you see these pullbacks. Uh, so buying the dips 
uh, is probably the best idea for the NASDAQ. So let's look at the German tax. And also here, we have fallen towards the 20 exponential and then basically rallied significantly. We're trading at 14,700, give or take. Technically, the are all looking fairly bullish at this point. So 15,000 will most likely be the target or the top of the bullish band here. That is most likely where this is going. This is a very impressive candlestick. Break below the 20 exponential, that opens the door to the 50 at the 14,000 and then beyond that to 13,828. So let's look at the UK 100. So UK 100 also fell well below the 50 moving average as 6,614, and then it rallied above the 20 exponential. Technical gears are still fairly bearish for this um, indice. So if we manage to get a green candlestick above the 20 exponential uh, to uh, Tomorrow, then we probably go head back towards the highs here at the 6,838. This is a really uh, promising uh, bullish candlestick where you see that we have a lot of buy interest of basically buying this back to the upside. This has not recovered compared to most other indices. We still are basically just in the middle here of this massive fall from last year. So this indice has not recovered uh, from uh, basically last year's major fall. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to follow us here on eToro. Good luck and thank you very much.